we will remove whatever bitterness they had in their hearts. There's a footnote here that says the bitterness they had in their hearts towards other believers who wronged them in the worldly life. So basically, God is saying that um, the believers, when they enter heaven, any grudges that they might still have from other believers who also will enter heaven, these grudges are going to disappear. So no one will enter paradise with any grudges whatsoever. If I rem remember correctly, there is a river that believers will be immersed in um, before they enter paradise to make sure that it pur purifies them physically and spiritually. Thank you so much, Mike. Appreciate it. Thank you. And no one will enter paradise with any previous or future or the, even the ability to have grudges. It's going to be taken away from you so no jealousy no grudge no hatred nothing rivers will flow under their feet and they will say praise be to Allah for guiding us to this we would have never been guided if Allah had not guided us so you see notice the, the difference how when the, the wrongdoers go to hellfire, they will attribute the, the wrongdoing to other people, but not blame themselves, you see? Even to the very last moment after judgment. And they are in hellfire. So it, what are you lying for? And still they blame previous nations and the spiritual leaders that misled them. But they don't... Um, blame themselves but look at the people of paradise the, the good deeds that they have committed they don't even credit themselves with it they put it like they credit God for their guidance let, let me read that part again Praise be to Allah, that's what they will say. Praise be to Allah for guiding us to this, meaning to paradise. We would have never been guided if Allah had not guided us. So you see, they're not crediting themselves. And this, why, why do I emphasize this part? Because let's apply reverse engineering. So for us to be part of this community, the, the community that gets into paradise, we need to practice the habit of when doing the opposite of the hellfire people and do similar to the paradise people. So when you do something wrong, don't blame someone else. Blame yourself. And when you do something good, don't be like so ha happy and proud of yourself give credit back to God. It's because of God who guided you, who gave you your moral compass and gave you Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him as a role model to help you apply th this, this wisdom. It's because of them and it's because of God that this good deed that you have committed was possible. So practice these skills to align yourself more and more with the paradise people so you don't find yourself in trouble. Hmm. The messengers of our Lord has have had certainly come with the truth. So you see, just like I said, they credit with like the good deeds that they committed, they credit God and the messengers. It doesn't say here God and Prophet Muhammad because the paradise people can be the followers of um, Prophet Noah, uh, Prophet Idris, Prophet uh, Jesus, Prophet uh, Moses. So any group that followed the Prophet of their time will be the, pe the people of paradise and they will thank God for their guidance and their prophets, the messengers. Now, it would have been a mistake here, 
a red flag if if this verse had said uh, thank God and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him then the haters of Islam would have said well what about people that lived before the birth of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him how come they will thank Prophet Muhammad when he did not guide them because he simply did not exist back then so this is further proof they said thank you to God and thank you to their messengers you see the distinction so now, now every page I pause and I take questions I interact with the comments briefly uh, but after after the first hour of reading the Quran and the second hour of reading the Bible and the third hour of reading the choice, I will have a, se a separate hour towards the end where I take questions and receive guests. But yeah, I'm just every page I'm gonna take like a brief um, break to read the comments and uh, you know interact with you guys. Allah was this lady, I like it. Not sure what that means. Hayati Salam Salam Path. Hello. I just joined this. Can someone explain what this is about? Um, great question. Well, first of all, let me um, welcome you, Mona, to my live stream. Um, my name is Sarah Sardar. I'm a content creator. I create content in support of Gaza and Palestine. Uh, or inspired by their faith um, I uh, my content is about uh, comparative religions I uh, live stream every day around either like 9 or 10 p.m. around this time uh, Eastern Seder time make sure you turn on your notifications so you get notified when I'm when I'm on and I live stream for four hours thank you thank you all Thank you, El Papi. Thank you, A. So I live stream for four hours every day. The first hour is reading the Quran, Arabic and English, and reflecting on it in both Arabic and English. And then for the second hour, I read the, the Bible. And the third hour, I read um, a comparative religions book called The Choice by Ahmad Didat. Thank you, Jumi. And the fourth hour, it's an open discussion where we discuss what, what we have read and learned throughout the previous three hours. Thank you, user. So I highly suggest you grab a pen and paper, write down notes, write down questions that you might want to ask me. And if you really want to reap the full benefit of my content, get yourself a copy of the Quran, get yourself a copy of the Bible, and the Choice by Ahmed Didat. This is the book, this is how it looks like. And this is volume one and two. So uh, I hope you enjoy and again, welcome to my live stream. Water break everyone. Stay hydrated. Bonjour. How is Palestine? supposed to be free um, good question well when colonization becomes fact resistance becomes obligation so that's how new city liberty mama Corey thank you so much for being um, a subscriber and joining the family thank you so much if you guys have questions for me and I'm busy reading uh, feel free to contact my subscribers you will find them with the SRDR badge like Mama Cory here this is my family my live stream family and um, they obviously you know been here for a few times so they 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 know what this is about so if you're free to ask them and uh, till I finish the page and interact with you so again uh, shout out to my subscribers and my gifters thank you so much oh and here is Lucifer everyone meet Lucifer as well thank you so much Lucifer for being a Sardarian 
the vanillas thank you so much thank you are you muslim yes by choice alhamdulillah thank god okay let's let's keep reading <laughs> 